What's going on, everybody? I've only got a minute, so let's jump right in it. The great thing about having a growth mindset is that you're not in this alone. There are literally millions of people who have a growth mindset and millions of people who have stories that show that growth mindset can help you overcome obstacles. I'm going to share a couple of them with you. You may have heard of this first one. His name is Walt Disney. When Walt Disney was younger, he worked for a newspaper company and they actually fired him because they said he wasn't creative enough. He had an opportunity here. He had an opportunity to have a fixed mindset which says, you know what, I believe you. I'm not really good at this animation stuff. Or he could have had a growth mindset that says animation is my passion, is what I love, and I know that if I keep working at it, I can be better. And that's exactly what he did. And he started his own animation company. And decades later, we all know about Disney shows and movies and it's Disney. <laughs> I have another one for you. Now, this young boy, Stevie, this young boy, Stevie, he told everybody that he wanted to be on TV. And a lot of people used to tell him, listen, you should try a different dream because people that come from where we come from, they don't end up on TV. That, that, that's just not going to work for us. That's just not what we do. So maybe you should have a different dream. And Stevie had an opportunity here. Either he could have said, had a fixed mindset and been like, I believe you. I won't be successful. Let me stop trying. This isn't cut out for me. I've never seen anybody around me do it. It's not going to be me either. I'll do something else. Or he could have had a growth mindset that said, I believe in this and I'm going to keep working towards it and I'm going to keep practicing my craft and keep getting better. And he did that. And now it doesn't matter what time of day you turn your TV on, you'll probably see Steve Harvey somewhere, right? <laughs> I've got another one for you. Now, this woman loved to write. She wanted to be an author. And she wrote this book that she thought was phenomenal, that everybody would love to read it. But 27 different pub no, 12. But 12 different publishers said that this book is something that nobody would ever want to read and refused to publish her book. Now, she was a single mom and she was trying to raise her children and, and, and make money. Now, she definitely could have had a fixed mindset and said, this is not for me. Nobody else wants to read my books for me. It's not good enough. It's, it's, I'll never be good enough. I'll give up on it. But she kept working on it. And she kept practicing and kept getting better, kept persisting. And she found somebody who would publish her book. And now J.K. Rowling and the Harry Potter series has sold millions and millions and millions of copies all across the world. Look, these are just a few people who have shown a growth mindset, a few people who have faced obstacles and said, I'm not going to let the obstacles hold me back. You may slow me down, but you can't hold me down. These are just a few people who realize that with practice and hard work and determination, I can learn anything. So in today's lesson, you're going to learn about some more people who have faced obstacles and overcome those obstacles. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about as I reference today's lesson, look at the description box below to figure out how to download the lessons that go along with these videos. Remember, excellence is not our exception. It's our expectation. I'll see you next time.